Max, um, I just want to get your thoughts on uh, some of the guys that left last year that, that you played with. Obviously, I know it's maybe a little hypocritical because you came from another program, but you know, you're going to your senior year and you're obviously trying to build something. Just, just how difficult is it to, you know, this new wave of college basketball where you don't know who you're going to be playing with year to year? And, right. You know, this guy going into your senior year to kind of take those losses, you know, some type of way, knowing you know, this is going to be it for you? Um, it's definitely tough, just, you know, the guys that we lost, Tyler being the graduation, Chucky and uh, AJ being in the portal. Um, it's just tough, like, seeing a friend leave like that, not even a teammate. Uh, all three of those guys were super good dudes off the court and in the locker room, but like you said, this is kind of college basketball and, like, the opportunities that young student athletes are going to be presented. and can't hold grudges on people for making a decision that could be life-changing for them. Um, like I said, I'm not gonna, you know, not be the one to talk to them anymore, kind of, you know, block them out and shun them out, but uh, it's definitely hard to see go, <clears throat> especially a guy like Chuck who kind of took me under his way when I first got here, um, my first year. Uh, kind of tried me preparing for Big Ten basketball and how physical and you know, the challenges on and off the court you're going to have with that throughout the season that you don't have in the Southern Conference at Wofford. So, um, just kind of losing a, not losing a friend, but not having one here to uh, kind of show you those things, the little tips and tricks of college basketball and things like that. And then, you know, me trying to do the same for AJ when he first came here last year, um, trying to help him, you know, become a pro because that's, you know, what he wants to be one day. And, uh, being the guy that Chunky was to me when I first came in, but like I said, it's just opportunity that guys get presented and you can't be mad at them. Uh, you gotta support them. Uh, but no, I think it's uh, it'll hurt, but I mean, the guys we brought in are also great you know, pieces to the puzzle. Um, they bring winning basketball and a winning culture to this, this program. So. Guys are obviously making money now and you know, just kind of be with college athletics. You, you knew they wanted to be here you know, for the front of the jersey. You right. being an in-state guy, you obviously carry that no matter what goes on off the floor. Do you sense that you know, culture maybe is it still able to be kept you know, at, at a place like Wisconsin, even though you know, it's, a new it's still going to be a new roster right. year in, year out, half these guys you know, were at a different place before they got here? Yeah, uh, I think a place like Wisconsin will definitely be able to keep the culture. Uh, sort of, of hard-working you know, dudes, guys who are good people off the court, um, guys that will succeed later in life in whatever they do. Uh, I don't think that culture and that identity will ever leave Wisconsin, but I think, you know, as a it, college basketball as a general, I think that will start to fade. I think the loyalty of fan bases will start to, you know, trade and change up because you have players that are just going to go wherever the most X amount of dollars are at, so it's going to be like a G League, you know, type of NBA basketball to where you're just following around the team that's going to be the next Golden State Warriors that has Kevin Durant, Clay Thompson, Seth Curry, and people like that. So um, I think it will be hard to, you know, kind of keep that same tradition that college basketball has always been for its whole entire existence. And, you know, building guys up from being a redshirt freshman to seeing them grow as a senior and things like that. I mean, nowadays, just win now and, uh, you know, find the best group of guys that's going to be able to make the sheet look like it's a winning team, but, you know, at the end of the day, can you really put it together? But I don't think, like, a place like here where the values are pretty true and uh, to the red and white that it'll ever change. It's kind of just, just going to say, do you think... Wisconsin can compete in that Oh, for sure. I mean, I think, like like I said, with the guys that you bring in who are uh, about the right things, you know, value the right things, uh, come from a good background in terms of how they grew up, kind of, you know, how they were raised and things like that. I think having guys like that, you'll always be able to compete because you got the right humans, you got the right people in the locker room. Uh, you know, you don't have people that are chasing things that are temporary, you know, money, whatever, some type of clout, fame is in the temporary, you know, that never lasts forever. So I think, you know, by who we bring in and, you know, the type of people that we recruit, I think we'll always be able to compete at a high level. With the way last season ended, you know, it looked like you guys were peaking in the Big Ten tournament and playing, you know, arguably than you did 
better than he did earlier in the season and to go out in, in round one and be upset in the NCAA tournament. What kind of chip on your the shoulder of this team you kind of just anticipated in the offseason here, especially with you and Steven Kamari seniors that, that kind of want to go out and make a run? Right. Um, you know, we just we explain to these guys and we try to make them feel the pain that we felt after that game last year. Uh, it's a terrible feeling to you know, not exceed expectations just for yourself, you know. However, people might have had, like, their bracket picked or whatever, it doesn't really matter at all, but just being able to, you know, owe it to yourself the next season and use that as fuel of the fire. Um, you know, guys like uh, Xavier and Cam Hunter have never been in a tournament either, so they already got that fire burning inside them in terms of wanting to get there in general, but I think that's for me, Steve, John, Mari, Gilly, uh, Nolan, guys like that uh, can make it a little bit bigger for them just because, you know, it feels even worse when you get there and you don't perform how you want to and you come up shorthanded. So I think, you know, using that and then the mentality that those guys bring as well, it'll help us out. Is, is Daniel a guy you think can impact this program right away? Here? For sure. Um, you know, he brings a different type of athletic ability to the floor. Um, his body is much physically more ready than a typical freshman would be coming into college in terms of his ability to get off the floor and you know go dump something really quick or quickness with the ball in his hand. So I think his ability to come in and help us right away will be evident. Um, but you know, just like any other freshman coming into college for their first year, it's super hard for them to adjust. And uh, just get the whole drift of college, like with school, classes, you know, you're not on an eight to three schedule like you are in high school. You might have a class at four and that might be your only class. So, you know, finding a routine and a schedule that works for you and uh, finding, you know, kind of your uh, routine that you want to have for a semester and the next semester is something that uh, he's good at. He's, he's, he's a very mature young man already. So I think he's, he's got a bright future ahead of him, but he'll impact our team. Yeah, I know.